You don't have a minute to waste. weekend getaway to Xianju, home of the immortal. Ellen was a friend, and finally a student at Huarjie Wall Street English. The 500 kilometer drive is so beautiful, we decided to make the entire trip a road trip. From the beautiful Huhang Expressway, we turned southeast onto the Shangsan Expressway. Is there a reason for calling it Xianju? It's a Xianren Jijun do you think that there are really people who live forever there? I think so. Ah! Okay, good. Well, I'll try not to kill you on the way. I'll try, I'll try to drive safely. <laughs> Five hours, one pit stop, and two toll booths later, and we'd arrive at the gates of the home of the immortal. That Mitsubishi Outlander was a dream to drive. It won me over in minutes. It was sturdily reliable, like an SUV should be, but it handled like a sports car on the expressway. This is also a four-wheel drive, which means that the, the engine is connected to all four wheels. So if one of your wheels or two of your wheels are stuck, the other two wheels can drive. So uh, it's hard to get stuck. Many an SUV is prone to gas guzzling. Our Mitsubishi was an exception. Five hours to Xianju, we could have made the entire trip on one tank of gas. But because petrol stations are so plentiful on the way, I decided to stop and top off my tank before we reached our ultimate destination. Ultimate destination was that creek riding. Woohoo! I love the water. Yonganxi is the headwater of Xianju. It is eight kilometers of unspoiled beauty stretching across the very heart of Xianju County. I began to understand why legend holds that the immortal do in fact live here. If you had to pick one place to roam forever, a secluded spot this beautiful can't have been a bad choice. Ancient peoples named the creek Yong'an in hopes that Xianju would never flood. Scenery like this calls for a photo session. Ellen was a very willing model. I took a break from hosting and played the role of fashion photographer. Because it's Yong'an. Yong'an is by and large a peaceful stretch of water. But in a few places, the waters do get a bit rowdy. As did I. Ellen said she couldn't swim, so I figured, hey, swimming lessons. She wasn't a willing student, so I had to resort to some extreme measures to get her to cooperate. Little did I know that I'd be the one swimming the young hand this day. And hey, why not? Fish swim. The immortals hereabouts must do it. The ducks seem to be enjoying it. So why not have a go? My tour guide dutifully warned me that the water was cold. I paid no attention. If the little ducks could handle it, Dalong surely could, right? Um, no. Cold. Really cold. Oh. 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 
I decided to leave its icy depths to the ducks and the other waterborne professionals. A lot drier and a bit wiser, I warm body and soul listening to our tour guide serenade us with some of Xianju's folk favorites.